Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. We're back here in the garage. and Let me just show you something on the phone. Let's go here. So we've got two jobs here that we can take, and we've got two that we can't take. We're currently waiting on getting to 1,500 XP for the Maluch and 3,001 XP for the Delray Custom. And you can see that our current experience right here is 718. The other thing we're looking at on waiting for is here in the toolbox. Let's go. So we can't get any of these upgrades until we get to 1,000 XP. And that gives us one point. So really to get the rest of these things here to give us you know, a bit better experience here in the garage, we need a lot more XP. And as we saw in the last episode we're really getting around 120 or so per car the other thing we're looking at and working towards is a parking area that's 9000 xp so we've got a serious xp problem and if we go back and look at the cars that are currently available to us let's go to the phone general running gear control and repair and timing related parts you've seen me do timing related parts You've seen me do some of the basic stuff in the running gear. So we've pretty much hit the major systems in the cars that are available. So I'm going to do something today in this episode that I have not done yet in this series. And that is we are going to do a jump cut. That's right. We're currently at 718 experience. We're going to do a jump cut to 1500 experience and then we'll get that Maluch in this episode so I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do a bunch of these little odd jobs here some of the same stuff you see me do over and over again and we're going to go into the Maluch when we come back all right so I hope that's cool with you it probably will be based on the overall viewership. So this is going to kind of speed things up and we're probably going to see this more and more as we go. So we're entering kind of the grindy phase of Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. I had hoped that we wouldn't get there, but uh, sorry, we're there. So when we come back, we'll be pulling the Maluch into the garage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Take a look at the experience level. We're at 1526. We've got $5,449 in the bank. And that means that what we can do now is go to the phone and we can pick up the Maluch. Timing needs replacing. Wonderful. So we've already done one of these jobs before, but hey, it required 1300 XP to get. And this is... An ugly car. An ugly car indeed. I wonder if we can take... Let's see if we can get a snapshot here. Alright. Take photo. Maybe we'll come back here. There we go. Alright, so that is stored for screenshot purposes. The next thing is that we do have 1500 experience, which means that we have one upgrade point available. Alright, there's the phone. What I think we're going to go for is fast unbolting. And that's going to help us go a little bit quicker with our repairs. So let's get that. We have no more upgrade points available. And we're good to go for now. All right, so let's open up the job. And we need ooh, a cam gear, small cam gear, and timing chain. And okay, that's a decent. Okay, we're actually going to get into the engine block itself, which is pretty exciting. So we're going to have to take off a bunch of other parts just to get to the timing belt or timing chain, actually. And let's see if we need to move this. Oh, interest. It's not. It's not there. Where is the engine? Oh, my. This is a rust bucket look at this thing oh my cam gear needs to go the small cam gear needs replacing timing chain needs replacing so that means okay so we need to get the timing cover off i have no idea what kind of car this thing is let's see that's okay there's the transmission 
Yeah, gearbox. So we'd have to go to the lifter for that. Starter. This is an interesting setup here. So it's a rear engine. That's cool. And it looks like the main part of the engine is right here. What's this thing? Front fan cover. Huh. Is this air cooled? There's no... Let's see. Versus liquid cooled? Let's see. There's no radiator that I can can see. Okay. So maybe it is an air cooled engine. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's probably what it is. Now we need to go in here. Let's go and get the timing cover off. What do we need to do for that? Serpentine belt needs to come off. To do that, we need to get the crankshaft pulley off. And so we need to get the oil filter. And we need to go into disassemble mode. So we're going to go like that. Okay, that's a little bit faster. Yeah, that's... Okay, I can I can see a little bit of a difference there. Let me know if you can see the difference as well. We need to get the serpentine belt off. Let's get that. Timing cover still needs to come off, and that means we need the crankshaft pulley off. Okay. And now the timing cover can come off. Lots of bolts on this one. And I found what you can do is just hold down the mouse button and then move the mouse cursor around and that gets rid of that. Okay, so the timing chain needs to come off, but we have to get the cam gear off as well. And that's something that we have to replace anyway. So that works out. And then the small cam gear. No. Let's see. This one. Small cam gear. Okay, so the timing chain comes off and the small cam gear comes off as well. And that means that we can go to the parts store. Let's let's take a look real quick. Repair order, cam gear, Maluch, small cam gear, Maluch, and timing chain, Maluch. And I could be completely butchering that name. It could be Maluk, depending on where this car comes from and I have no idea where the car comes from. We're going to go to the Maluk or Maluch part shop. So let's get this cam gear and then we're going to get small cam gear. How about let's just go to the engine only parts and we'll go down small cam gear, small cam gear right here. $30 timing chain 45. All right, so now we can go back and we can put this thing back together. Let's go into assemble mode. And what we're going to do is put the small cam gear on, the one that we just got. Whoa, that was in definite need of repair. So let's do that. We'll put the timing chain back on, the new one, and then the cam, cam gear like so. Okay. So the fast bolting and unbolting is definitely useful. And I guess we're good on the timing cover. And that's not looking so hot, but hey, the only thing we're authorized to repair is the cam gear or are the cam gears and the timing chain. So that part is done. Next up is the crankshaft pulley. This car needs some major, major work otherwise. Yeah, I I don't know. They I would I would want them to do some other stuff here, but let's take a look at our inventory now. We've got an outer tie rod, and that reminds me. I think that in the few cars between our last clip and this clip, I think I forgot to put an outer tie rod back on a car. But it let me do it. Let me send out the car anyway. But. Yeah, I don't know. So I've replaced everything in the repair order. Let's take a look. There we go. And that means that we can finish the job. And let's go back into our inventory. We're going to sell these things for scrap. I'm not going to try and repair them. Uh, no money on that one. But there we go. So let's take a look at what... Ooh, ooh some, some frame rate issues. What in the world? Let's go here. 
All right, so we've got a pickup truck that is soon available. Is this for DLC? Is that what that's for? So the next big one we need to pull in is the Delray Custom at 3001 XP. And then we also have this Caster Earthquake at 4500. And then it looks like we've got two other cars that we've never pulled in before. But let's let's take these. I'll put them on the lifter. And then that will be it for this episode. So let's just get set up for the next time. Let's see what the repair order is. Ooh, a lot to do here in the suspension primarily. Okay, so let's move this one. It's going to need to go to the lifter. Okay, and let's take a look at the Royal Crown running gear faults and sloppy car steering list provided so we're still not into the the realm where we need to go on the track to take a look at what's going on but let's just take a look at the repair order real quick okay shock absorber okay sway bar all right so so there we go all right, so next time what we're going to be working on are these two cars. So it looks like they're roughly the same area, so we're going to be in the suspension. So, hmm. oh, phone, phone, let's see. Another, okay, so that's brake system. So we might pull that one even though we've already got one of those cars on the lift. But that's going to be it for now. If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated, and if you haven't done so already, Think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. And uh, anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.